the broken candles, the thought is not something that would impact your world. It's the, the symbolism. Broken and confused, that's what the community of Colleen is feeling after finding out that someone destroyed part of a makeshift memorial there. Now the community is left with nothing but questions after a mural for Vanessa Guillen was vandalized early Thursday morning. A lot of folks down there wondering who would do this. Tonight, 25 News reporter Leah McNeil is trying to find some answers. If you take a look at things now here at Vanessa's mural at Fort Hood and Rancier, you'll notice that things look pretty normal. But if you take a closer look, you'll see shattered glass scattered throughout and jagged edges on cracked candles still standing. The mural put back together by community members after it was vandalized early Thursday morning. It's sickening. People nowadays are not showing no respect. Please don't cause any further damage to our community. We've already have been dealt enough. Everyone is asking the same question. Why? In surveillance video posted to LULAC's Facebook page, you can see an individual walking past the mural heading towards the east gate of Fort Hood. The person then charges the mural not once, not twice, but three separate times, kicking down candles. And a Louisa Tapia, district director for LULAC, says this person has no business being at the mural. It appeared the person was a little bit uh, intoxicated, and so at 2-3 o'clock in the morning, you should have been resting. Vanessa's story continues to draw people here to pay their respects. Raquel Riviera came from Tyler, Texas. When she heard the mural had been vandalized, she couldn't believe it. But especially this young lady you know, that went through so much, you know, to uh, serve our country, you know. And yes, that's really, that's not nice at all. You don't do that. Nobody deserves this, this uh, what she went through. I don't know what, what can be going on through this person's mind to do that what why don't they have a different outlet find something to do find somebody to talk to tapia says this mural is a place where the community can come and heal she says this senseless act won't change that you can come and break a candle but you're not going to break us you can come and break that and and it was in the shape of a heart it's still going to be a heart because that's the heartbeat of this community. Tapia tells me they have formally filed a police report to ensure that this incident is properly documented. She says she will not stop until she finds out who did this. In Colleen Leah McNeil, 25 News.